In this video I will describe how I built this BGO scintillation detector. Let's start by opening it up and showing what's inside. At the front here under this black tape the BGO crystal sits. This other part is the photomultiplier tube. This is an added photomultiplier tube. Uh, the tube type is B36B01. When I got the crystal, it was not in an enclosure, so the first thing I did was uh, put white, first white electrical tape around all of the surfaces that were not going to be attached to the photomultiplier tube. So I chose the best looking surface, which, which I decided to uh, connect to the photomultiplier tube. Then I attached it to the photomultiplier tube with coupling compound. Then I taped it to the photomultiplier tube, first with white tape, then with black tape to block out any stray light. Then I put these Molex connectors on the pins on the base of the photomultiplier tube and then soldered the voltage divider network to these connectors and also a capacitor according to this uh, schematic. After that it's pretty much ready to go. Keep in mind that this is a positive high voltage wiring so it will only work with positive high voltage with it which is um, most rate meters and uh, put it in a light proof enclosure to block any light from hitting the photomultiplier tube. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you have a working BGO scintillation detector. I'm now going to demonstrate it. So now I have connected the scintillation detector to this Ludlum Model 2 rate meter set at 900 volts. And if we turn it on, we can hear that it starts clicking. If I move this scintillation detector closer to this uranium mineral, Yep, that's how you build a BGO scintillation detector. If you're lucky and look around a little bit on eBay, you could get the parts for, I would say, under 30 bucks. Thanks for watching.